Hey, you don't get on the Harlem Globetrotters without major skills, both on and off the court. Those skills include entertaining and speaking, and that's why Big Easy Lofton is here with us today. You're hosting the 42nd annual Mid-America Emmys this weekend. Yeah. And but first, Big Easy, uh -huh. New Orleans, is that is that kind of how it comes around? I am from the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana, born and raised. And mm -hmm. I know we're here today, but I got to say who that if I didn't, if I get in trouble. Back well, now. we know you're a Saints fan okay. and, you, and Drew Brees, we get angry, but we're going to give you some okay. Chiefs swag here. I appreciate it. And your Chiefs kingdom flag. Oh, yeah. You can take that home. See, I was a New Orleans fan. My, my buddy Darren Sproles played down there because oh, awesome. he was a K-State guy. Oh, cool. uh, so, but let's let's talk about the Harlem Globetrotters okay. being from New Orleans. How did you come from New Orleans uh, to start playing basketball and end up with the Globetrotters? Well, um, back in 2005, I was a victim of Hurricane Katrina, me and my family. Really? And we evacuated to Houston and the Globetrotters, and they was doing a charity event for the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Mm -hmm. And um, while there, I was just finishing college, and they gave me an opportunity to work out for them. Um, and I, I've been with them now for 14 years, 90 countries, wow. three times, lose on Amazing Race, and, and many <laughs> other good things that uh, happened from it. Yeah, I wouldn't call you a loser on the Amazing Race. I was <laughs> a participant on okay, the Amazing okay. Race, All right? right? That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the participant trophy. I'll take that. We got you playing playing some Globetrotters basketball uh -huh. here. How much fun is that to get out in front of the crowd? Because, I mean, it, it's not just a game. It's a show, and you interact with the kids. And it's, it's one of the greatest things ever because for an hour and 30, hour and 45 minutes, you come down, you come and check our show out, and whatever's going on in your life, whether the good, the bad, the ugly, you just forget about it. Yeah. You know, we come around. I've been to all these different places around the world performing for families. And we, you know we're like the home team everywhere, no matter what. Mm -hmm. You know, and just like you know, you go to you go in Oakland, they might not like you yeah. as a Kansas City <laughs> Chief fan, but the Globetrotters can go anywhere. You know, and so that, it's amazing to be loved all around the world. And you're still working on that winning record, right? Yes, yes. I haven't <laughs> lost a game in 14 years. The last game I lost was my last year of college. Oh no. Uh, so, but but I, and I've been out 14 years, man. I'm getting old, but yeah. <laughs> well, where did you, where did you go to college? college I went to at? Southeastern Louisiana University and played ball there. I and played then, ball, yeah, yeah. And came out and got. Now, what kind of training do you go through as a Globetrotters? Because I mean, I don't think. The college ball game is encouraging those sky hooks from back behind the three-point right. line. Well, well, like we yeah. saw you practicing out here yeah, just a yeah. little bit ago. Yeah, I got the Guinness World Record for uh, for hook shots. Do you um, really? Yeah, yeah. I have two of them. We got like um, 18 as a team total. You know? Really? Yeah, we, we, we get to this. Okay. Um, yeah, but to be a Globetrotter, um, it's about basketball first. And most of all, you got to be a good person. Now, what trick? What, what are you guys doing here, chasing around? Oh, that's the the old bucket of confetti trick. And it could be always, you're water always too. getting the referee with it. What's the deal there? Referee fans, everybody can get it. At the game, you come, you want to have a good time. That's one thing about us, fan interaction. As you can see, you know, after the game, we sign autographs every night, and we always in the stands, having a good time, just yeah. enjoying the fans, just you, family fun. You guys play the Washington Generals quite a bit. Mm -hmm. What's it like? Do you think playing for that team? Do you think they get demoralized quite a bit? Like never getting close. But never really getting that victory. Well, you know that that's no peanut butter without jelly. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate the Washington Generals. We put on, we come to entertain, put on a great show. And some, you know, th those guys. You know, I've been to 90 countries. Some of those guys been yeah. to 90 countries too. So don't don't feel bad for them. Okay. You know, and they get to go to the south of France and all those different things. Yeah, and, man. And, and, and parlay. So uh, don't feel bad with them at all. <laughs> okay. So the Emmys again this week in the Mid American uh -huh. Emmys. What is your role there? What are you doing? I know KCTV Five is up for a few of those nominations this year. Yeah, you know what? The, I, I hope you guys win and hopefully next year we can get you up there and I, yeah. I, can, I can reach you a trophy. Um, but my role, I'm the MC. This okay. is my third year in a row doing it. Um, I don't know why it could be the looks, but you know, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. But the, uh, looks, <laughs> the looks are the height. One uh, the two, you know? I'm there to keep it going. I'm there to keep it flowing. It's not about me. Mm -hmm. It's about the nominees and the great work they did um, throughout the year um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in this region. So I'm, I'm excited to be there, to be a part of the show. I'm not the show at all. It's yeah. about these people you know, winning something that they've been trying to achieve for a lifetime. And it's sold out, but how can we watch at home? You can watch it. Um, you can go to our website, to the Emmy website. It's going to be on you guys' website. It's mm -hmm. going to be on their Facebook page. We're going to do some Facebook Live um, backstage, to, you know, when I'm getting dressed, you know, putting my Tom Ford on and, and, having, and having a good time. But it's just going to be a good event. Just like everything I, I try to be a part of, I want it to be family fun and just a, a good time. And, you know, we're going to have fun. All right, man. Well, it's Big Easy Loft in the here today. Thank you so much. You take the ball. I'm going to take one of these. And uh, <laughs> you can thank him uh, for this Red Friday. Coming up, a nod to the low. Whoa.